Hello. Um, I've spoken to a few parents today and a couple of you said that you hadn't used Education City before, so I just wanted to show you how it worked. Um, so if you go to educationcity.com, then you might have to click on login and then you'll come to this screen. You should be able to just click on login with Google for Education. If you're logged into your Google Classroom, then that should log you straight in. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, then you can use the username and password I have sent you. So I've also got a like a fake pupil that I've set up, so I'll log in using that one. Um, you need to make sure that your country is set to Scotland. If you don't, it has a bit of a stop. And then log in. And then you'll have, can I move this? You'll have this at the bottom, classwork, homework, revision, subjects and scores. Just click on classwork. And then you'll see that you've got three different, well, here I've got three different My Cities. Um, I'll put different work up at different times for different groups of kids. So you might only have one thing, you might have three things. Um, just depends on what the work that we've set is. If you go into them, then there's different games, activities. Just click on the game. We use Education City in class quite a lot, so the kids will know what they're doing when they get to this point. Um, if it would load. And just click on start and play the game. Sometimes, Sometimes the work that I give them will be sequenced like this. So with this one, this is a learn screen. So they don't have to play it. There's no game here. They just have to watch and work through it. And you can't get into this game until you've completed the one before. Um, so if there's a padlock at the bottom, it just means that you need to work through the one before it, before it'll unlock that. And sometimes you have to get like a score seventy percent or above before it'll unlock it. Um, that's that's all there is to it, really. There's, I'm not going to use anything. I'll, everything that you need to do will be under classwork. I'm not setting homework or revision. It will just all be under classwork, just to keep it nice and straightforward. I hope that helps. If you have any questions. Do feel free to send me a message on Seesaw or on Classroom. Okay.